let's just sew whatever. I'm gonna try this a little bit differently today because I don't have three to four hours to edit this video. So I'm doing a picture in picture, I hope you guys don't mind. Um, so the first one we're looking at is the Uniquely, uh, let's, Uniquely KA Creations. This is the Square Reader Holder Keychain Accessory. Get out of here. What a unique thing that's super necessary if you're a seller of items, you know? Um, so I really, I really love this. Um, I'm not sure. Digital file for embroidery machines. So if you have a 4x4, 5x7, you can use this. Um, super neat. I think it would be a great little craft show item, especially if you have an embroidery machine because it's so quick. And I have a feeling that all the other vendors would be like, boom, I want that. All right, the next one here is the skateboard bag. This is from uh, Mahu Sutsumi Sosation. It is the skateboard bag PDF pattern. <laughs> I can't remember if we talked about this or if I've just looked at these patterns a million times to film this video. Um, but I think it is super cool. I have to look around my phone, so I apologize for moving so much. Um, just kind of like the bicycle bag. It's like, that's super unique. Like, something we need, I, but you didn't know you needed. Um, let's see, hopefully. There we go. I think I'm in a good place now. So, I think that is such a cool bag. Uh, the next one, I believe oh, that they have new, like a new bag bundle. I can't recall. I, I, I don't know if it's season three. That seems right. These look newer. I'm not sure if I can look at when it's released, but So Sweetness has some new patterns. I think we've got more links in incoming. Anyway, the Christine Sling from Love You So Boutique. I think this is such a cool concept. Um, I follow her on Instagram, and like all I saw at first was the unique crossbody strap that she designed. I think that is so fun. But the best part about this bag is it's reversible. Get out of here. It's reversible. Um, super cool. Ha insanely unique. I love it. Okay, let's see. The next thing we have here is from So Yours Patterns. And this is the Kensley Tote, which is beautiful. Um, it's got this front pocket flap here. Um, you can add some really unique hardware too, and you don't have to punch a hole through it if you don't want to. Oh, look at that button. Super cute. So yeah, this looks like a pretty, yeah, it says it was designed for beginner bag maker. Um, I could definitely see this, like if you've made a few bags and you're not quite sure if you want to move into something a little fancy, fancy, this one could still get you there because it looks very classy. Okay, this one is from Sewing Illustration. This is the Roly Poly bag. Um, oh, okay, yeah. I think this is Ziriano, perhaps. I saw this on Instagram and I was like, that is freaking cool. Let's watch the video, shall we? So it's such a cute little size. Look at that zipper tape. Um, and it might be made with binding. I love how I could read it and I don't. Maybe not. It's such a cute little size. Okay, here we go with So Sweetness. Um, we have the Chickadee Backpack, which I have seen so many people make. Um, it reminds me of like the Day Tripper and the Teddy backpack that are already out there as far as like a diaper bag situation, but this front pocket is really cool. I love how um, 
wide it opens and like the shape is just really satisfying. So this is definitely one I would love to make at some point. Also out is the Sky Harbor tote, which has these zippered side panels. Um, do they zip up or are they decorative? Um, they might just be decorative. I have yet to see it zipped up. It looks like a really nice sized bag. Again, one of those, like, if you're a beginner, but you're pretty confident, you might be able to have some fun with that one. Continuing with So Sweetness, we have the Starling bag. It's a hobo bag with side zippers on the exterior of the bag. Let's see what else. I'm like, ooh, ooh, ooh. It looks like maybe those are zipper pockets because it doesn't look like it's really going to widen the bag any. But those are pretty cute. And I don't see many pictures of like the inside of the bag, so I'm not sure what's going on in there. It's got a recessed zipper on the top. Okay, there we go. Ooh, and a nice big slip pocket. Very cool. Looks like a good size. Um, and I think this is the last So Sweetness one. This is the Stingray bag. That's really cool, the way they've got the zippers on the front of there. A shoulder bag and a tote bag. And they look like pretty nice sizes. Um, and then she sells videos of her patterns as well. So if you need to see it made, she's got videos for you. It looks like, oh, I like that. I like how that's a slip pocket as well as like a through zippered pocket. That's pretty cool. All right. This is the true wristlet, which I hope to do a video tutorial for at some point. Um, this one looks very cool. This is from Madness Creations by Heather Marie. Um, this is designed for raw edge material and is rated an enthusiastic beginner, which I think is super cool. Um, but it's got this front tri-fold. I guess technically it's a bifold because there are only two folds, but oh, so cool. And this back swoopy pocket makes my heart really happy for some reason. Um, but this looks like something a lot of people would love to have. Mm. Gorgeous. Oh, look at that. That one's really cool. Ooh, all white. Mm, that gorgeous vinyl, though. Yeah, so I definitely hope to do a video tutorial for that bag. Okay. Mm. This is from SSOL Sewing Seeds of Love Studio. I was like, I can't read that small right now. Um, but this is the petite tote pattern. And I was lucky enough, um, my friend Kelly Wise made one for Dorothy. She was testing the bag and she was like, Dorothy can have it. And this thing is so teeny tiny. It's so cute. Dorothy loves it. Um, but like, it's... It's like that big to give you scale, but it looks large and in, tar large and in charge. Um, they do have another one that's a little bit bigger now. Um, so if you're looking for something a little bit bigger, not quite this small, you can definitely check that out, but it's so cute. Uh, this one is from Needle and Anchor. And this is the Driftwood handbag. Classy. So classy. Um, the side panels on this bag are super cool. Very unique. It's got like this um, little bit of a, a tuck detail. A pin tuck. I don't want to say a pucker. But a, a pleat would be the better word there. 
It's got this really unique top zipper. Um, if you've made the Louise barrel bag, it's a little bit similar for the top zipper on that, how it's like this separate top piece. I have not made this one, but from the looks of it, but I really just love the shape of the bag. I definitely hope to make one of these. I've had no time to sew recently, but there you can see that side panel, how you can get like this peekaboo of fabric effect on the side panel. Gorgeous inside pockets. Um, she said this part here is a little bit tricky with the shape, but if you take your time and you don't use materials that are way, way too stiff, you should be good to go. That one is just super pretty. Uh, this is the Cumbria Tote from S-O-T-A-K Co. Um, and it comes in two sizes. Um, I like, oh, that center divider though. Um, and this is a pattern like you could purchase even if you don't intend on making it this exact way, just to know how they designed it with that center divider if you're looking for a bag with a center divider. And you can kind of um, use those tools to create a different bag with a center divider. Um, this one is so cute. I really wanted to make this. This is the Spudnik Trick or Treat bag. You can make this anytime to make with any toys, but look at that one. It's so cute. Oh, it's got this really neat handle that's kind of tucked in, so when you pull it up, it drawstrings it closed just a little, little bit. Like, it's not a full-on drawstring. Um, but yeah, you can kind of see it happening there. Oh, nope, you can't, because I scrolled down. There. <laughs> Super cool and only $3.99. Gotta love Sincerely Jen. All right, this one is from Carried With You. This is the Gardener Phone Holster PDF Pattern. It's a little phone holder for your belt. Super cool. Um, and I know she tested it to include a lot of different phone types, um, but I just think that is so neat. And like, if you are someone who does not carry a lot, but you always want your phone nearby, like, and you're not wearing leggings, like I always do, this is a really cool option. And only $5, come on. All right, this next one is the Peaceful Bag from Shambhala Fringe. Just look at that. Fringe. <sighs> Oh man, this bag is super, super cool. I love that fringe. I love the connectors. Um, it looks fairly easy to make other than, you know, you've got that fringe, but super pretty. Uh, this is the Tremont crossbody bag with video. Uh, this is from Hold It right there. Um, I think I've seen uh, Sia Swag making some of these. I think it's a really cool size. It's like a nice schmedium. Like, it's not too big, but it's not too small. We call that schmedium. Like those side panels. Ugh, super cute. I love it. Uh, this next one is the Steffi shoulder bag, which I'm 90% sure I purchased with the intent of making a video. I love this side detail. Um, and this is made with minimal to no hardware, which I think is really cool for bag designers to release, especially for people who are just getting into bag making. You're not going to have hardware sitting around, you know? So I love that. Mm, look at this bag. How well made is that? Mm, oh, look at that phone pocket. It's just so cute. I could see this being a really good seller, um, especially if you made it with a crossbody strap, so that it would be more of a crossbody bag. Um, but you could even do bull straps, like here if you wanted to add hardware. You could add a D-ring or like an O-ring and you could do a shoulder strap and a crossbody strap connected to the bag. I think that would be really, really fun. All right, this is the Sophisticated Clutch from Sophisticated Designs. This one is really pretty. 
another one of those like amazing carryalls. You could even add a crossbody strap to it. Oh no, I think it has, yeah, like D-rings and stuff. So pretty. And so many different ways to make it. It looks like there's two flap options at least. But you could always like draft your own. So pretty. So yeah, love that one. This is the tripper, tripper, triple zipper pouch from Toby Stylix. What? I love the shape. I love that flap and that closure. And then it's literally three zipper pouches. So a very cool design there. I love the shape of it too. And if you love pockets and being organized, I'm pretty sure you're going to love this pattern. All right, the next one is the perfect pouch from Fierce Kitten Studios. I definitely want to make a video for this one. It can be worn as a crossbody or as a hip bag. Oh, it's super cute. Um, I think she used fold over elastic for the binding. So that's pretty cool. Um, but it says it's a bias bound project. It's actually not that hard as the pattern is designed for quick assembly in mind for those of us who want to bulk produce for craft fairs. So I could definitely see this being a really big seller. Okay, this is the Sidekick Hip Bag from Little Moo Designs. And this one is a really fun shape. It's a fanny pack, but I know, or a bum bag, depending on where you're from. Hip bag is probably a really good, good word. I really like the shape of it. I like those connectors. That's cool. And all that piping. Mm, mm, mm. I love it. Uh, this next one. Mm. I bought this pattern and I have plans to make 7 million, but I need to make one first. This is the Solasta. Probably saying that wrong. Solasta is a Scottish word that means luminous or shining like a sunrise. Get out of here. Amazing. Uh, this pattern does come with videos, so I won't be making a video, but if I do, it will be like just an overview with Erin's permission, of course. This comes in two sizes. Two. Look at this one. Mm. Mm. absolutely gorgeous there is very unique construction on this bag I love the pockets included and just I need to make it look at that come on get out of here that's what the sides like buckled in kind of creates that shape um, but yeah did we mention it's a backpack also I want that hoodie um, but yeah, there's a pocket under here, which is super cool. And I think I saw one, yeah, where that flap is a zippered pocket as well. You got options. I want to make this one really bad. Uh, this is the Gina shoulder bag from Bumble Root Designs. I love the exposed seams on this one. I don't know if those would be French seams, perhaps. Um, but yeah, super unique. It's like the inside is a zippered pocket and then there's like exterior slip pockets maybe, or is that something that goes inside of it and fits perfectly? I should probably read. Yes. <laughs> Featuring a larger outer bag and a removable inner bag. Snaps secure the inner bag in place, forming a divider for the outer bag. That is freaking cool. Very cool. So that one is from Bumble Root Designs. Um, and then we have the Trifold Toiletry Bag from Scratch and Stitch. Which I definitely think would be an amazing Christmas present for some people. A holiday gift. I honestly want one. I know my sister Emily, she carries one of these. I didn't make it, but if I wanted to, I could. 
I've got the, the pattern now. <laughs> All right, this next one is the Bond Backpack from Pink Pony Designs. Another one I was like, oh my goodness, it's so pretty. That front closure flap is super, super cute. I love the size of the backpack. It looks like a really good medium sized backpack. The inside is nice and simple, so if you're a beginner to sewing, you could absolutely handle this. Oh, so cute. Mm, I love this back panel. I love these connectors. It's not gonna create too much bulk in any one area, so that's super cute. And it looks perfect for a laptop, etc. I love that. And you could always size it down if you want it smaller, scale up if you want it bigger, that type of thing. This next one is from Country Cow Designs. This is the Muerco Tote. Probably not. Could be. This one is really unique. I love the O-rings that she uses in a lot of her patterns. Super pretty. This one has a top zippered closure. Just looks nice and simple. But again, lots of ways to class it up. You could even add like a recessed zipper panel on the top. That would be really cool. But yeah, very pretty. I like how wide that bottom is. Very cool. Uh, the next one is the Flamingo Wallet from Charmed by Ashley. <laughs> Something it sounds like I'm pronouncing wrong and it just makes me smile. All right, let's see, what do we have here? Ooh, a video, okay. Let's go. So it's got a top zipper and a front zipper. What else we got? I like that side connector. That's really cool. That's it, what's on the inside, okay. Yeah, oh, it's a snap closure. And then you've got all the card slots there. Mm, that's nice, I love that. All right, the next one, the McFly and Mini McFly backpack pattern from All So Petite. This close to purchasing it every time I saw it. I need to, but I need to know that I have the time first. Um, this one has this really nice gusset and I love these side pockets so, so much. Look at that, it looks like a beautiful size and everything. Mm, those padded back straps. I love it and I'm here for it. I need to purchase this. I probably should just do it now and like print it so it's done, but like the shape of it is so pretty and every part of it is just practical. So I definitely need to purchase this. This next one is the Adina laptop bag from Kaya Papaya Designs. This bag makes me want to buy a laptop that I can put inside of it. I don't really have one that I carry around. Uh, yeah, this is absolutely stunning professional. I love the size of it. Like, just looks so beautiful. I don't know how else to describe it. It's amazing. Uh, the next one is the Melanie bag pattern from Catsiopeia. This is their first pattern launch, and my goodness, it is absolutely stunning. Look at that flap! Oh my goodness, like, I just want to stare at it for a very long time. I really hope I can make this bag soon, who knows. Um, but I saw that she posted in her group, like, if you have any questions, to feel free to contact her. She seems super active in the group. And um, if you're wanting to make it with a domestic machine, she says you can. Oh, hi, Ben. So yeah, love the look of that one. Uh, the next one is the Admiral Grace PDF tote pattern. And this is from Mew Designs. Quirky leather bags made in Brisbane, Australia. Super cool. Um, it's an over-the-shoulder tote bag with the instructions and pattern pieces you can print at home designed to be made in thin leather on your home machine. I think the connectors for this one are super cool. I love the like piping detail. 
and it's almost like a French seam or like a faux French seam to kind of get that really intricate look. Looks like you can use triangle connectors or grommets or you can just include them in the top seam and then it's got this what looks to be optional like accent over on the top. Really a fun pattern, definitely a unique kind of shape. Just look at that. It's so cool. Oh, it looks like that's like a sketch of it. Okay, and then that's the actual pattern. Very cool. Uh, and this next one is the Neo Crossbody Wallet from Care Threads. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that correctly. Um, and not, not in a dis, but like this looks like a bag that my grandmother carries. And I really want to make one to give to her for Christmas or something. Like it's just super compact and small but super roomy it's got those card slots there that zipper pocket um and it could be made as a clutch or um yeah as a crossbody so i think that is super cool an awesome size the skill level level is for confident beginner and it looks pretty easy uh there is a video tutorial you can watch on this pattern so even better hopefully you can't see that okay yeah YouTube um, it looks like it's by Lynn Kepler all right so this next one is the Bianca from clutch couture designs uh, it's a medium-sized handbag with your choice of flat or rolled handles instructions include adding an interior zipper pocket with an overlay and a slip pocket and it is 10 inches high 12 inches wide 4 inches deep so it has this very fun top zippered closure and it has like barrel bag sides. Yeah. With like a fun piping detail. So it's a really fun shape. Um, it's almost like the driftwood and the um, Marcel barrel bag were combined and had a very sleek, modern looking child. Um, Oh, okay, I see it. Oh, that's made by Soulful Creations. Ooh, pretty. Um, so it's got these crossbody connectors here. And there you can see. Oh, wow. That's kind of fun the way the sides can like tie together. Oh, look at that piping. Or is that a binding? I think it's supposed to be piping. And this is kind of a fun shape mm. beautiful seriously beautiful this one is made by starflakes excellent job um but yeah that is it i hope you guys enjoyed this episode of pattern chat um i hope you like this picture in picture as always i'd love your feedback and i'd also love to know what patterns you're purchasing um or if you're on a buying hiatus like me Although it's so much fun to support all of these designers. Um, if you are a handbag designer and I missed adding a new pattern of yours, I do apologize. Um, I have a couple friends in a group that pull links for me in case I miss them. Just because there's so much going on. Um, but yeah, I will see you guys next time. Bye.